Hi, my name is Steve Katai. I'm the Education Manager at Fitness Anywhere, and welcome to Ask the Trainer. Today we're going to take a look at common ways that people use the TRX Suspension Trader incorrectly. We refer to these as the six TRX sins. I know it sounds a little dramatic, but seriously, it's important to know how to execute your exercise properly, to keep things safe, and to get the most out of your workout. This is the sin of starting, and what we mean by that is starting incorrectly. To demonstrate, I'll use the TRX Y deltoid raise. So the common mistake here is people think they know what a Y is, so they'll get into position and they'll come up and they'll pull themselves forward. What we want to see is to find your end range of the movement. So you pull back on the TRX, find your footing, nice offset foot stance. That way we can go through a full range of motion under control and that is the sin of starting incorrectly. So this is a sin of stopping. To demonstrate, I'll do the TRX row. The mistake that people make is they'll, they'll find themselves at a very, say, steep angle, that the intensity is just too much for them, and then they can't go anymore, they'll just stop early. What we want you to do, the brilliant thing about the TRX is you can, on the fly, adjust your angle and continue to fulfill your set. And that is the sin of stopping. This is the sin of slacking. And we don't mean slacking during your workout. We're actually talking about when they're slacking your TRX. To demonstrate, I'll do the overhead back extension. So the common mistake is people will go through the exercise and they won't keep constant tension on the TRX handles. What you wanna do is pull back the entire time, keeping that resistance constant and getting a more effective exercise. And that is the sin of slacking. And this is the sin of scraping. To demonstrate, I'll use the TRX chest press. So the common mistake we find with this is people will have their hands a little bit too low and they'll try to stabilize through the, through the straps of the TRX. And then they get all this scraping on their arms. So what you wanna do is you simply raise your hands up ever so slightly and you can create that that space between you and the TRX and that is the sin of scraping and this is the sin of sawing to demonstrate I'll do the hamstring runner so the common mistake here is that people will just kind of go through the exercise and they'll get a lot of this slipping up at the anchor point what we want to see is nice even pressure on the TRX, on the foot cradles, and a nice, smooth, controlled movement. And that is the sin of sawing. And this is the sin of sagging. To demonstrate, I'll use the TRX plank. So the common mistake in this exercise is people will get into position but they'll drop their hips, which causes a lot of pressure on the lower back. What we want to see is you engage your core and you stabilize and you keep a nice posture throughout the movement. And that is the sin of sagging. So remember, keep your workouts fun, safe, and hopefully sin free. My movement was to demonstrate proper technique using the TRX suspension trainer. What are you moving towards?